This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. My name is Eric Walters. I've been working here for three and a half years, and I head the Acorn Woodpecker Project, a long-term research project here at Hastings that was begun in 1968, making it one of the longest term studies of birds in the world. What it involves is coordinating research assistants that uh, work here year-round and reporting on the work that we're doing here at the Hastings Reserve. So every bird goes in a hole at night and they'll often communally roost. So you might have two, three, four, five birds in there. The record's 14. We've had 14 birds in one hole. It's uh, an area maybe, you know, 12 inches deep by five inches wide. It's really packed in there. And so uh, what we did last night is we said, okay, we're gonna come to this group. We're gonna see where they roost. And so the hole I'm climbing right now is uh, where we saw the birds go into last night. And during the breeding season, we're trying to monitor the number of eggs, the number of chicks, and actually band all the young. And so to do that, we have to climb these trees and getting to these trees can be quite a chore. We, we should actually do the interview while he ascends. Like the David Attenborough? Yes. <laughs> As we are approaching the woodpecker from below, we're sneaking up 60 feet. You see the characteristic bill as it looks out. So this is the hole where the bird goes in right here. And so you'll notice that below the hole, there's a cut right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, this cut off so I can access the bottom of the cavity. So right now I've finally got the cut open. And uh, I'm going to put my hand in now and we'll see uh, what's in there. And hopefully uh, it's something that won't uh, bite me. In this case, there's nothing in there. So now I'm going to put the, the cut back on and we'll probably come back and check this in a few days and see if the woodpecker has uh, nested by that time. Oak trees are known as a masting group of uh, species. In certain years, they have a great big pulse of acorns. In other years, they have very few acorns. In other areas, if you go, say, to San Francisco, where there's only one species of oak, the live oak, acorn woodpeckers can't survive there if it's a poor year. They have to move off. And so here at Hastings, we have lots of acorn woodpeckers because we have lots of oaks. If we were to lose our diversity of oaks, we would likely lose uh, acorn woodpeckers. So it's a very important indicator species of healthy oak woodlands. So just below me here is a granary. Granaries are where the acorn woodpeckers store their acorns. And if you look down just below me, you'll see on this dead limb, thousands of small holes that the acorn woodpeckers have created, usually in areas that are starting to rot or in some way defective. This usually comes with age. So young trees are typically not used by acorn woodpeckers. There are two species of oaks, the valley oak like the one I'm sitting in, and the blue oak over most of their range are not regenerating. That means that when the acorns fall to the ground, new trees are not forming. It's a conservation conundrum here in California where many of us are working on this as a research project, trying to understand why these oak trees are not regenerating. The tree I'm sitting in right now is probably somewhere between four and 500 years old. So when this tree falls, there won't be another valley oak to replace it. It's one of the research questions that I'm interested in is understanding how the acorn woodpeckers are limited. Can we actually create more woodpecker groups simply by giving them granaries? And so here's an example of one of my experimental trees. So down low you can see some of my artificial granaries that I've added. Up higher are two artificial cavities that have been provided here. So this is an example showing how uh, there were never any woodpeckers here in 40 years, but the moment we put up this artificial granary we brought in these acorn woodpeckers that weren't otherwise here. And so as a conservation strategy in the future, perhaps we could put in some conservation measures that would allow these acorn woodpeckers to make that hurdle to actually be able to survive in a period when we don't have these oaks that are not regenerating. So I've checked the nest. Looks like there's no eggs today. So I'll have to come back in a few more days and I'll try again. <laughs> 